thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic today is the Native American Indian and People's Coalition for Democratic Growth. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about the Native American Indian and People's Coalition for Democratic Growth, uh, Mr. Albert Bender, who is the coordinator for that organization. And of course, Mr. Bender, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning to talk about uh, this organization. Now, but before we get into uh, talking about this organization, let's talk about uh, Albert Bender and to have you to give us some information about your background, your education, your experiences, and some of the things that were important that eventually led you to the coordinator of this organization. And then we'll talk about the organization and some of the things that uh, this organization has been involved in and some of your future plans. Let's do it from that perspective. Okay, fine. Well, one, I have a um, law degree and I have a degree in uh, history, and I consider myself as being a historian. Um, I've been a practitioner of law for, oh, I guess about the last 24 years, and I'm also a, um, a journalist in that I write for two major Native American Indian newspapers. I also uh, write historical articles for various magazines, and I write political commentary. And so you're very, very involved in terms of being active in disseminating knowledge and information in reference to uh, the Native American Indi uh, Indian experience. Let's talk about uh, that, the name of that organization. Now, what, what about this organization? Let's talk about this organization itself. Okay, well, one, uh, the reason that the name is a little bit longer than usual mm -hmm. is because we wanted to get the essence of what the organization deals with. One, it's called Native American Indian because of the fact that it had its genesis within the struggles of Native Americans to stop grave desecration in the Middle Tennessee area. And the reason we call it the People's Coalition is because it's not just an organization of Native American people, it's an organization of all people. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Anglo people who work with us, we have African American people who work with us, we have Hispanic people who work with us. So it's from the standpoint of a people's coalition, mm -hmm. it's all the people of this city mm -hmm. that we want to work with mm -hmm. and we, that we've been trying to bring into our organization. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what, what's the purpose of this organization uh, and, and its founded? Well, the purpose of it is to stop, well, originally the purpose of it was to deal specifically with the stopping of the desecration of Native American mm -hmm. grave sites uh, ancient burial grounds and historical sites in the mm -hmm. Middle Tennessee region. Now, how was this done? I mean, what, how, how, was, how did this desecration occur, and what do you do, do, uh, uh, describe or classify as desecration of uh, these sites? Well, one, the desecration started with the development that mm -hmm. takes place here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. You have residential development, you have industrial development, mm -hmm. and what happens when these uh, public and private entities start constructing mm -hmm. buildings, businesses, and the like, mm -hmm. they invariably or almost inevitably mm -hmm. run into Native American burial grounds. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that yeah. is because in ancient times, mm -hmm. a thousand years ago, this area of Middle Tennessee right here in Nashville Good. had the largest Native American population in the entire southeast. Mm -hmm. There were tens of thousands of Native Americans living here a thousand years ago mm -hmm. and as a consequence you had uh, just a, a, an endless string of burial grounds and village mm -hmm. sites so whenever development starts going into Good. just about any part of Nashville they inevitably mm -hmm. run into these Native American historical sites mm -hmm. and graveyards. And so the, the purpose of this organization is to make sure that once that happens, that those uh, uh, grave sites can either be preserved or at least make sure that uh, the relics that come out of those sites are preserved or taken care of. Is, is that... Uh, That's mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. And to also ensure that the remains, the skeletal remains, are treated with dignity mm -hmm. and that the artifacts are kept with, and if there is reburial in a specific area, mm -hmm. um, where the uh, remains were found, then mm -hmm. those artifacts are reburied with the skeletal mm -hmm. remains. And we want to make sure that there's no illegal trafficking or selling of mm -hmm. those artifacts and remains, as has happened so often mm -hmm. here in the Middle Tennessee mm -hmm. area, and in fact happens all throughout mm -hmm. the South, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that many of these things that you're